Hi, I'm Dr. Sandeep Jha. I'm a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon and I work as a consultant at Manipal Hospital which is in Dwarka, Delhi, India. Very often a question is put to me, Doc, if I quit alcohol, will my liver go back to normal? Now, uh, there are no easy answers. The question that liver will go back to normal or not depends on how much damage has already occurred in the liver. Now, if you take about 12 to 24 grams of alcohol per day, over a prolonged period of time, you stand the risk of developing alcoholic liver disease. That means if you have one bottle of beer or one single serving of wine or hard liquor that contains about 12 grams of alcohol, then one or two drinks per day over a prolonged period of time, then you stand the chance of developing alcoholic liver disease. And if you have more than 30 grams of alcohol per day, that means more than two drinks per day, then you are classified as a heavy drinker. Now, if you quit alcohol, will your liver go back to normal? Depends on how much damage the liver has already suffered. And this varies, this varies widely because every individual and every liver is different. We come across this scenario very frequently that some individual who is drinking for many years, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, his liver is relatively normal. Whereas somebody who has just uh, been drinking for last four to five years, his liver, his or her liver has suffered extensive damage close to liver failure. And uh, this is quite often we are presented with such a situation. So every individual and every liver is different and we have to individually assess how much damage the liver has suffered before judging if the liver will go back to normal or not. And now uh, there's no specific study in the Indian population to show how much intake of alcohol leads to alcoholic liver damage and all of this data is mostly derived from western literature so we don't really have any conclusive data on the Indian population. Mm -hmm. Now just to be sure quitting alcohol helps and helps to delay complication, delay the development of cirrhosis, delay the development of decomposite cirrhosis. However, if the liver will go back to normal or not, depends on how much damage it has already suffered. Now, alcoholic liver disease can present in many different ways. It can present as a fatty liver, it can present as a liver fibrosis, it can present as alcoholic hepatitis, it can present as acute and chronic liver failure, it can present as compensated cirrhosis, it can present as decompensated cirrhosis, it can present as cirrhosis with liver cancer. Now, if you consider acute and chronic liver failure, which is very frequently seen, seen in heavy drinkers who consume more than 30 grams of alcohol per day, they have a high propensity of developing acute and chronic liver failure, which has a very high risk of short-term mortality, that is 30 to 50% risk of mortality within three months. And such patients, even if they quit alcohol, it is not going to help their condition and the liver is not going to go back to normal. If the patient has cirrhosis with liver cancer, even if they quit alcohol, their liver cancer is not going to disappear and cirrhosis is not going to go back to normal. If they have decompensated cirrhosis, that means if they are developing complications of cirrhosis like jaundice, ascites, upper GI bleeding, encephalopathy or hepatorenal syndrome, even if they quit alcohol, their liver is not going to go back to normal. Although they might delay their complication, they might even prolong their life, but uh, the liver that is already damaged is not going to go back to normal. Even the cases of compensated cirrhosis where they are not having any obvious symptoms of cirrhosis, but the liver has suffered enough damage to be classified as cirrhosis, but there are no obvious symptoms. If they quit alcohol, their liver is not going to go back to normal. Although they'll have delayed complication, they'll have lesser complication, the development of decompensated cirrhosis might be delayed and they might even live a longer life. But the liver will still remain damaged and the liver will not go back to normal. Now, if the patient has liver fibrosis, it depends on how much fibrosis the liver has, which can be quantified by doing a fibro scan or liver biopsy. If the patient has advanced fibrosis or F3, F4 fibrosis, quitting alcohol will not cause the liver to go back to normal. However, if the patient has early fibrosis, that is F1 or F2 fibrosis, there's a high chance that quitting alcohol might repair the liver and the liver might go back to normal. If the patient has 
simply a fatty liver due to alcohol if the individual quits alcohol there's a high chance that liver will repair itself and go back to normal so if i may summarize Patients with acute or chronic liver failure, decompensated cirrhosis, compensated cirrhosis with cancer or simply compensated cirrhosis or late fibrosis, even if they quit alcohol, there's a small chance that the liver will go back to normal. And the more chances are that the patient will progress and eventually the cirrhosis will worsen in such patients. However, if the patient simply has a fatty liver due to alcohol or an early fibrosis or alcoholic state of hepatitis, then there's a high chance that quitting alcohol might repair the liver and the liver might go back to normal. I would like to address two speci special situations, especially if the patient has hepatitis B and hepatitis C and he or she continues to consume alcohol, they have a higher risk of development of cirrhosis, higher risk of development of complications and higher risk of development of liver cancer if such patients continue to consume alcohol. In another special situation is the female population and even if they consume alcohol at a similar level as male population, they stand a higher risk risk of developing cirrhosis, higher risk of developing complication and higher risk of developing liver cancer even if they consume similar amount of alcohol as the male population they stand a higher chance of such complications. So if uh, if you uh, have uh, if you consume alcohol and you are thinking about quitting alcohol do not just assume that quitting alcohol your liver will become normal quitting alcohol is a good thing but if your liver will go back to normal or it will repair itself depends much on how much damage it has already suffered so you should not just assume that you're quitting alcohol so your liver will go back to normal so if you think there was useful information in the in this video and you benefited from it then please share like and subscribe to this video so that more and more people can benefit from it thank you